اقرب منازلها الا محب زايد اسسها واليوث وراها داروا على الدانات سبع ابد الا دار زايد لا تقرب حماها لا تقرب منازلها الا محب زايد اسسها واليوث وراها داروا على الدانات سبع ابد نحن شعوب لها نفدا Welcome our viewers to a new episode of your program Bears of Union. As we always do, we put a spotlight on successful personality here in UAE. Please welcome with me within Dubai City the famous designer Mr. Jani Ronaldo. Hi Mr. Jani. Hi. First of all Mr. Jani, can you tell us more about you and your scientific and practical stops? Uh, actually, my project is um, architectural master planner designer. Uh, my vision is always to try to mix what is the relation between the modernity and the tradition uh, is my background Italian as uh, you know in Italy we, we, we work a lot with the in historical context and we are uh, our formation is a lot in uh, strongly in in the, in the context historical that's why when I came first time to Dubai it was for me one um, unbelievable inspiration because we have the possibility to ex uh, Real, realize all what it was in my dream. This uh, real mix between uh, <coughs> modernity and the tradition, as Dubai is one example in the world of this uh, this kind of uh, of a practice. And uh, the, the first experience to come in Dubai was inspiration, a, a very big inspiration for me to arrive to ex um, uh, let evolution uh, when my my work, my practice, and my my formation. Uh, I started to work um, in Dubai as a different project in the, during 2003-2004 from different opportunity I had to work here and um, it was very interesting to start to work with this uh, um, in, the, in the idea of the white page. All the architect is always scared to have the white page. It's one uh, opportunity to, to, to design from the scratch everything in one city but it's also very complicated to image how we can create from nothing one uh, one uh, one uh, <coughs> city or one project or one architecture or one iconic building as what we have in Dubai in a different place of this uh, wonderful city yes uh, Mr. Gianni can you tell us more when did you come here to UAE and decide to open your business here yeah it's basically in 2003 when I came first time in Dubai and I have this uh, first uh, inspiration, uh, incredible inspiration, where I can real try to uh, extend all what I have inside me, this idea of the modernity, of tradition. And at the same time, I wrote one book, is uh, uh, Light Architecture New Age Cities, but is, uh, writing in 2000. is one text university in many universities around the world. And I spoke about this idea of uh, the world it become with virtual and reality together. Uh, coming in Dubai was one uh, real like uh, lighter in my house because it was all what I always dreaming, <coughs> realize in this city. I saw the project uh, crazy, um, inspiring, and they give me this uh, this idea to say I won't stay in the place to be in the world in this moment. I want one day to say to my kids I was there when the Dubai was built this. Uh, a uh, fantastic dream of this illuminate Sheikh Maktoum. They create this uh, dream for everyone. This welcoming I receive in this country, all what I learn from Dubai, just to look at around, just living around Dubai, they give me this uh, 
the stronger part of my firm today uh, that it thanks this country to welcoming me and to give me this opportunity to create my uh, most formation in terms of vision. What is the difficulties and the obstacles uh, of uh, the new business uh, can face up for the youth in, in, future? in the future? In the, in the old business you have a difficult moment, you have a easy moment. Uh, Dubai is, was, uh, for many people, they think it was the easy place to come to have a job because they have a lot of uh, construction building. Don't it looks like the paradise, uh, the event from uh, many counties for architect, engineering, construction company, etc. But in the end of the day, uh, the most important thing was arrive here and try to have one reason to, to, to do something, to um, try to, one, one real reason, intellectual, I talk about to participate at this uh, adventure of Dubai. And then uh, it uh, can be difficult because uh, a lot of, uh, of opportunity, but also a lot of uh, concurrency. Uh, many people is coming around the world uh, to, to, to give their, uh, uh, their, their, their contribution in the country. Don't, it's, uh, it can see is not easy, easy at all. But at the end of the day, uh, I do a lot of uh, work around the world. I work in the USA, I work in France, a lot in France, in China. And uh, I realize Dubai it will be the place to be and also one excellent hub to live and uh, to enjoy the life and inspire it to create the world. My firm is uh, uh, basically, I have a different office. I have office in France, in Dubai, but my creative offices I decide to put here. One, because of course it's inspiring for me stay living in Dubai and, and working in Dubai. And at the same time, is also one hub. When I go to China, it's seven hours. When I go to France, it's seven hours. Yes. It's the perfect hub to stay in the middle of action, but in the middle also of the world, where the, 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 the action is, is, is working. Yes. Uh, Mr. Gianni, what is the most, uh, uh, you know, uh, projects you're proud that you join? And you, you, you've been a part of it. In a uh, in, uh, in project on the, on, uh, in Dubai, I, de I designed the 2004, 2005 different towers, but unfortunately after 2007, 8, they come in the crisis. But example, I was in 2007, I introduced Franco Dragon in Dubai, uh, the, the famous director of La Perle. Uh, the first person he bring Franco was me. It's coming from my 50 years birthday in Dubai. I said, you need absolutely from Las Vegas, come to see what happened in Dubai, because it's one country, unbelievable, you will love it. And Franco is coming here for my birthday, and uh, we start to, to have the first connection, and this time it was that weird to design. I designed for him the Academy of Franco Dragoni with one theater, to have the first show, and uh, then after the crisis stopped everything, and uh, later we have the opportunity, Franco have the opportunity to work uh, again in Dubai with La Perle and to make this um, fantastic show. And Franco is one uh, close friend of mine, the one genius. And uh, I am very proud to be the first person to do Franco in Dubai. And as he, many friends, many people, investors, they came in Dubai to visiting with another eyes because it's important when I always talk about Dubai, in all my conference around the world, I always yeah. open my speech to talk about uh, how Dubai will be inspiring for the people. And all this, uh, vision of Maktoumi was like uh, the, the, the most powerful vision I ever seen in my life and maybe never seen the same way, this uh, fantastic opportunity to be here in the place where they build one dream for many people around the world and we are part of this build of dream. Also, if we put one little stone in this country, we are part of this dream. Uh, Mr. Gianni, here in UAE is a highly competitive market. Uh, and to be special in this market is the key of success. Uh, what's make uh, Gianni uh, design special? But special. I think everyone has one special uh, way. I think in my, in my firm, what the people is like is, uh, is it is a mixed experience I have in terms of design, architecture, and this mix of ultra-modern way, but with this soul of tradition. And also my experience I have with the, 
show business. I design a lot of famous uh, nightclub in Europe, uh, and uh, with, uh, I also work uh, with the, with the, with the Franco. It's inspiring for me, for, and uh, I, I try to create one one uh, one lifestyle, one world. It's not one project, but when the people he call me as my firm to have one service, it just shows one one world, one new vision. Of, of the of one part of the world and I am very proud to arrive to give this expression of uh, one uh, different way uh, all the projects different but we felt this uh, this uh, little touch different of the other film because I, I don't stop only in architecture it's one shape or one beautiful building or whatever I just try to go beyond this uh, this uh, this vision it's more like one when I talk about lifestyle, it's like one uh, new place to, to, to live. Uh, it's one mix of different experience. Uh, and uh, what I felt the first time uh, here, when you see the fountain of, uh, of Burj Khalifa, you have one mix of people you can live, enjoy, eat, and uh, have this different kind of, uh, of experience, not only uh, shopping experience or working experience, or, you know, it's one mix. And that's why in my last 10 years I work a lot in France uh, in the commercial center. Uh, I won different awards for the best uh, commercial center in the, in the, in the world uh, because I try to mix the experience of Dubai with my experience in the world of design. That's yes. make me today one uh, unique product, you know, in the in the around the world. This is my my yes. war strong point. Uh, Mr. Jani, also United Arab Emirates, known as a good environment for investment. How does environment reflect on you here and your business? Ah, today is 100% environmental. We work a lot of this. Uh, I think today is one responsibility of all architect and designer to work with the the the, the problem of uh, of of, uh, of sustainability and work in uh, in uh, environmental uh, uh, way. Uh, we use a lot of green and we use a lot of, uh, of system to reduce the impact of carbon and uh, all our project is uh, oriented to sustainability, is one sense of responsibility. All the projects we do recently, they have the, the label very high, high hand in terms of brim for the, for, the, for the sustainability and this is also what is uh, in this country one of the last big uh, uh, effort and uh, shows by the, 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 the direction of the government to do the project uh, sustainability. Uh, and this is very, very good, and very, very important for, for the future uh, city and the future designers. They need to take care of this uh, side important of our, uh, of our work. Uh, if you agree with me, success is not an individual work. Absolutely who's, not. Who's the people behind your success? By the, behind success, we have always one team. Uh, the team is not all our team. We work close to us. But it's also the engineering, uh, consultancy, and uh, all the people is can work around, uh, around us. Uh, the success is uh, just to arrive in the life to be happy for what we do and proud for what we do. I don't think the success the measurement of success is behind the uh, uh, material way, but is when we uh, re finally realize I, I, I arrived to reach one point in my life where um, people accept my work, love my work, and uh, people is living in my building, in the, my construction, in my creation, they are proud, they are happy, and they are able to create this, uh, this good life for the people. What's your future plan for uh, Gianni Design? But I think one uh, of uh, important way to, to to catch today is the is the one word is important to to retain for also for the all the new uh, young generation is perseverance. I mean the perseverance is very important to let people understand uh, we don't never need stop. We have one, uh, one failure, we have one, uh, one problem, we go, we, we go beyond this one, uh, beyond this, uh, this problem. And uh, also if we feel the world stop, uh, pandemic, difficult, crisis, financial crisis, by the end of the day, look, Dubai is here, simple, the life is, is go, the life is here. 
we dealing with the difficult, but we always uh, will be positive and we fight with the problem day by day to arrive to reach our uh, happiness, you know, and our realization, self-realization. I think I believe the perseverance is the words important today to look at in the positive way and look at always uh, not stop to dream uh, because the dream is uh, our uh, uh, our life. If we stop to dream, we stop to live. Yeah, and what would you say for our youth beside that as mm. a motivational message? My, my motivation, Mesa, uh, yeah, my, my motivation is uh, is always uh, be. I, I am happy to to every day to wake up and to work in my in, in, in my my way and that I have to create every day. I create in the night. I have one kind of three four. Uh, sketchbook in my in my uh, close to my bed and that sometime I wake up at four o'clock and I start to sketch and have some idea or some words or some uh, sentence or some uh, uh, you know I, I never stop to this one it's my motivation to when they wake up in the morning I said oh my god I need to go to office to create this one immediately to say with my team this idea new I have this new vision this new intuition I have um, sometimes with the one little thing, one little word, they can inspire me to create one, uh, one poem, you know. Well, this is the life. Uh, we all blessed to be living in this country, which is about uh, everyone on its land to succeed. What would you say for our leaders here? This country today uh, is one example. Uh, I think the, the example what we have in this last 10 years from Dubai, and uh, the example we have also now uh, uh, about what happened on this uh, difficult moment for the world, is this one uh, very clear message for the world how Dubai it can teach not only for uh, the to give uh, the, the the courage to go uh, beyond the, the 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 what is the reality, but try to real uh, accept and uh, and uh, and work for one better future, for a better life, for one better. Uh, uh, population. Of course, what is important to thanks uh, for us as uh, people they come, for the foreign people is come here, they're so welcoming. We can just uh, be very grateful and thanks the, the, the rulers uh, for what they give this opportunity to live here, they feel uh, our home and never as like expat, you know, what is word expat, expatriate. We are not expat, we chose to come here because the life is so good and because the welcoming is so warm and we don't want to leave this country because this is our home.